All for me, and none for all. Written by Helen Lester. Illustrated by Lynn Munsinger. Gruntly was a ball hog. Not only did he refuse to share his toys with Hampshire and Berkshire, but he helped himself to theirs. Gruntly grabbed Yorkie's shoes, even though he already had far more shoes than feet. And it got worse. Gruntly constantly snuck up on Woolworth and Cluck to gather more fluff and feathers so he would have the poofiest pillows. If there was a something, he wanted it all. All for himself. What a hog! snorted Hampshire, Berkshire, and Yorkie. He bestows new meaning upon the word. Wise Woolworth said wisely. Cluck! Cluck said and nodded. She was a chicken of few words. Clearly, Gruntly's companions were fed up with his greediness. One day as Gruntly was skipping along, wolfing someone else's donut and collecting illegal flowers, he came upon a sign. The Parks Department invites you to a treasure hunt on Saturday. Oh yes, exclaimed Gruntly. A treasure, all for me. Gold up to my belly, silver to my snout, diamonds to my pointy ears, that's what it's all about. Hey! When Saturday came, Gruntly was ready for action. The park ranger explained the rules of the treasure hunt to the eager hunters. You will have three clues, she said. I'll give you the first clue. If you follow that and the other clues, you'll find a treasure. Ooh, said Hampshire, Berkshire, and Yorkie. A stupendously superb opportunity, observed wise Woolworth. Cluck, agreed Cluck. And over at the starting line, yes, hissed Gruntly. I'm going to be number one and get all the treasure. All for me and none for all. The park ranger called out the first clue. Clue number one, go 50 steps, then you will see. Clue number two, under the... See! Yes! Gruntly was in such a hurry to be in the lead, he didn't bother to hear the end of the clue. As the others headed off to look under the tree, Gruntly was racing towards the sea. Gruntly did not get far. Gruntly got wet, so he slogged back. As he passed the tree, the second clue, which the other hunters had left behind, blew right into his hand. Clue number two. To find the next clue and make your heart sing, go to the playground, look under the... Again, Greedy Gruntly was so eager to be number one, he skipped the last word. I've got it, he snorted. Wing, look under the wing. Several annoyed and squawking birds later, Gruntly gave up the wing idea, and as he hurried past the playground swing, he tripped over the last clue, which his companions had tossed in the grass. Clue number three. To find your own treasure, turn left at the frog, and there it will be under a... I know, I know, I know, cried Gruntly. Under a hog! And there it will be, under a hog! Yes! Gruntly galloped on, zoomed left at the frog, and screeched to a halt. He was surprised to find his companions already sitting on a log. But no time to wonder, it was time for some serious hog tipping. Pardon me, move it please! Sorry, Woolworth, didn't mean you. Scoozy! When both the hogs had been tipped, with absolutely no treasure beneath them, Gruntly paused and blinked. How could this be? No gold, no silver, no diamonds. Wait a minute, Gruntly eyed the little bag the others were clutching. What you got? The little group backed away. Trail mix, they answered. Our treasures. That's it? Trail mix? Seriously? Gruntly was almost speechless as his mind tried to replace gold, silver, and diamonds with trail mix. This was stressful, but he did it. After all, trail mix was rather yummy. 
and crunchy and sweet and delicious. I don't suppose there might be some left for me. All for me? Gruntley's fellow hunters, fearing that he might grab at any moment, gripped their little bags so tightly they crackled. Then Cluck, the chicken of few words, strutted forward. She looked Gruntley in the eye and said, Cluck. Look? wondered Gruntley. Look where? Cluck pointed her ruffled wing towards the log. Cluck. There? asked Gruntley. And then Cluck got down on her knees, or whatever chickens get down on, and pointed way low with her beak. Cluck, 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 cluck. Cluck, 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 cluck. Under the log. Oh, now Gruntley got it. Without even waiting as Cluck clucked, you betcha. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Gruntley looked under the log and grabbed his treasure. His very own treasured treasure. He was about to dig in. But wait, the others had saved it. No one had touched it, or taken it, or snatched it, or grabbed it, or tried to nibble, or gobble, or hogged it. Gruntley was so moved by his companion's kindness and honesty, there was only one thing to do. Should he? Would he? Could he? As Gruntley moved closer, Hampshire, Berkshire, and Yorkie hugged their treasures, trembling. Cluck continued to wonder, and Woolworth pulled the wool over his eyes. Gruntley looked at his worried companions. All The little group took a deep breath. Gruntley just smiled. Almost all for me, but some for all. Gruntley shared.